guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're into this sort of stuff, hit subscribe, like, whatever, it's all good. Um, right, today we are taking my 2005 Aston Martin DB9 for a little drive through to town because I need a couple of tools um, to access the fuse box. A fuse little area thing. A um, little issue developed yesterday, I just want to see if it's a fuse or something silly. But, we're here to have a little chat about this car. Oh, I recently sold a Skyline GDR, an R32 Skyline GDR, because my absolute dream car was one of these puppies. Now they say you don't buy your dream car, don't drive your dream car, but oh my god, this is good. So good. I'm doing 60 k's an hour on some rather windy roads and it's barely above idle, in fact it's 1100 RPM so I've got an auto and it is great it is absolutely, absolutely great like <laughs> as I say, it's barely above idle and this thing just wants to haul some ass um, it's got so much torque, it is stupid. I can't even describe how much torque this thing has because it's a lot. Um, to put in comparison, the R32 had 350 wheel horsepower. Um, I'm not too sure what that equates to at the engine on these on those things. These are rated to 451 horsepower at the flywheel, but that's with all the auxiliaries bolted onto them. So they they're, they're a bit different. They're, they're very very cool, very very cool. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're not much above idle. Like really, I'm going up a hill now. We're in fifth, and um, it's pretty good. I have to say, it's pretty good. Yeah. We've got the, uh, well, I'm not too sure what, if it's walnut or whatever it is, dash piece. Um, before buying this, I test drove a silver Volante. And, good car, but, the previous owner had to spend something forty thousand dollars in the two years prior to him selling it. Um, it literally had everything start failing, everything. It's unbelievable. So I decided not to get that, and this popped up, and I took one look at it and just and the, and the history on it, and just went, oh my god. Uh, so I bought it. Funny enough, it was the cheapest one in the country by a bit, to be fair, a bit. Um, I should have probably paid a hell of a lot more for it, considering the condition it's in. Uh, the previous owner, as you can tell, has put the Aston clear tail lights on with the black surrounds to match the Onyx black paint job and they suit the car so well. They absolutely suit the car. Brilliant, I am so happy you did it. Um, the wheels and tyres. So the tyres are off the DBS, I am told, and the wheels are not Aston Martin wheels. They are a, like a very, 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 very good uh, knockoff of an Aston Martin wheel. So the red tyres are now sporting two nine fives. So, she's got rubber. She's got a lot of, oh look, an R32. Don't know if you saw that, but yeah, very cool. Um, what are we doing here? We're doing, slow down a little bit, we're doing 60 k's, we're on a 70 zone. Sorry, no, we're not, we're on an 80 zone. So, put my foot down just a little bit, if you can see this. got nuts. It's got big, big nuts. Um, yeah, 
what can, I, what can you say about these cars? They, they really are the ultimate. They are the ultimate. They are the, in my opinion, they have, it's probably the best Aston Martin that has been made since the DB5. The DB7 was an XJs in, 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 in different clothing. Um, if you're an XJS, why would he XJS? I'm going to. Um, I think they're a good looking car and I, I, I love them. I really do. So, why wouldn't you? Um, the DB11, yeah. I don't know. It's a personal thing. I don't like it. Um, not so much the front, but the back. I just don't. I think they've gone a little bit angular with it. Um, and it's not really my taste. This one here, they just got it right. Everything was right. Everything. It's crazy. Um, yeah. But, you've probably seen about 100,000 videos on this thing floating around the, uh, the internet. Not so much this particular car, of course. But, other cars, other, other DBs. Um, so, yeah. Enjoy the ride. The acceleration and torque in this thing is really something else. Absolutely amazing, amazing acceleration and torque from that massive 6 litre V12 or 5.9 litre V12. Um, just holy hell, it is something to be desired. I'm not too sure what else to say about this thing, I just do not have enough superlatives. It is that, that good a car. There's a, a number of videos around telling you how good it is and all the rest of it, um, and they're all true. They are all completely true. Yes, they can be a wee bit precious, and I am planning to uh, replace the cats on, sorry, not the cats, the exhaust manifolds on this because it is a wee bit of a, an issue. Um, I had a friend of mine who's got a, what the hell is it, a Rapide. So essentially a four-door version of this. And unfortunately, one of his cats disintegrated and killed the entire engine. That was uh, over $40,000 repair ladder. I don't really want to have to do that, so once I can afford it, I will be replacing the exhaust manifolds um, with some high-flow cats plumbed in. And then I'll probably do a dyno, just to see exactly how we get, how we got on with uh, any kind of a power increase. So that'll be nice. I'm not really doing it for the power increase, of course. Uh, more a reliability thing. I don't want to have to pay out absolute moonbeams on an engine rebuild. Because uh, let's face it, when you've paid a little over 60 for the car, and then you've got to pay 40 for an engine rebuild. It doesn't really work out, which is a little bit, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway guys, I'll leave it at that. Hope you're uh, having a great Sunday.